What's going on? Welcome back to the channel and happy Halloween. Thank you to everyone that took part in this month's open collab. We had so many good designs submitted, it was nearly impossible to get a top 10 list together. If I could, I would include all of the designs that were in it, but no one is trying to watch a one hour video. Like I've said before, my favorite is getting that one year's free subscription to Invato Elements. So big thank you to them for allowing me to give away that free account. So I'm gonna run through my favorite 10 graphics, talk about all the areas I liked, give a little feedback on areas I think could maybe be improved. But honestly, everyone that entered had crazy work. It was dope to get a bunch of the sports design community together, working on a project like this. And hopefully I can do more open collabs like this in the future. Now that's all out of the way, let's get to this top 10 list. Starting at number 10, at the bad hand, the bad hand, I'm gonna mess up a bunch of these Instagram handles I can already tell, but this design is great. I love the overall composition and coloring to it. The smoke in KD's hood works really well as a transition point. Everything just flows. This design definitely would have been further up the list if there was just a little bit more to it, like a little bit more going on, but the artistry and everything in this graphic is top notch. Awesome work. Number nine, we have Chaos Designs on Instagram. I love this movie poster style design. It feels like I could see this up in the cinema somewhere. The lighting and atmosphere you've created is great and make a really convincing nighttime scene, which isn't always easy to do in Photoshop, but you achieve the look really well. Only criticism I could say is similar to number 10. It's a bit empty, but I feel like the emptiness is effective with this composition. Also, some of the lighting on the windows and eyes doesn't look too realistic. There isn't enough bloom glowiness around the light sources. All the bats on the moon looks a little bit too much as well, but overall, it's great stuff. At number eight, we have G Star Design or G Dot Star Design. Man, the creativity on this is next level. You took the concept and really had fun with it. This definitely scores super high in the creative and uniqueness field, but there is some lighting issues like underneath the pumpkin head. It's too bright, it needs to be just a little bit darker. That and some of the inner glows around the foreground elements, it looks a bit too harsh. I would try maybe using a solid color, changing the blend if sliders and just painting on the inner glows with a mask to get them to look really subtle and not too overbearing. The ideas for this design was so good though, man. I wouldn't have thought of half of this stuff, so well done. Number seven is Jason Redina Designs. I hope I'm saying that all right. This was a really fun graphic. The concepts for the Terminator tray and jar with the lightsaber is awesome. The overall composition for this is really nice as well. Everything is weighted nicely. Criticisms would be that there's a bit too much clashing colors going on. I think if this teal area at the top was a bit darker and the glows behind the trees were a deeper blue as well, then the color scheme would work a lot better, but great work nonetheless. Now, number six, we have Matt GFX. The original direction you took with this is dope. Almost like all the players are aliens and this kid just kind of stumbled upon this craziness that's happening. The coloring is really nice. The glows around the players might be a bit too much. I think some parts on the players could be a little bit darker just to add some more contrast and really make the highlights stand out. But dope, dope work, Matt. I'm gonna assume your name is Matt from the handle, but amazing work. Okay, so we've made it to the top five. All of these were awesome, all of them were amazing, but the design at number five is. Road Studios with another movie poster style design. Everything works really well together. I like how you tie in the green from the NBA lane text into the glows area at the top with this creepy skull character. Really not too much to say in the way of constructive criticism. Maybe the lighting around the players could be a bit brighter to make them stand out from the background. But even then, I'm really nitpicking. Amazing work, bro. On to the remaining designs. And number four is Bradley Jack Design, fellow YouTuber and solid all around designer. I love the what if inspired theme behind his entry. The attention to detail and the light and reflections on the house is also a really, really nice touch. He actually had two submissions. So here's the other one, which I thought was also dope as well. And he made that on stream. I like how different this is from the first one. I have no idea how he made this live with people watching. I'm sticking to my pre-recorded stuff because I don't need that kind of stress in my life, but a really nice design from Bradley. We only have three left and at number three, we have designs by Heston. A really strong all around graphic. The composition works really well and the dark moody atmosphere is perfect. The orange glowy separation behind the backgrounds is awesome as well. The whole graphic just really tells a story. The house stock photo was used in a cool way and looks ominous as hell. The antlers and mask and Giannis are done really nicely as well, man. Everything works well together. Amazing graphic. And then there were two. Both of these are so good and the designers are super talented. So I'll go over both of them before announcing the winner. SPD underscore zero eight. 
I loved how unique this was. Just a completely different way of thinking and approaching a design. Stuff like this is always great to look at. But yeah, this design is epic. I love that it's just a random hyena. I love all the details on the fur, the Halloween text treatment, and all the foreground statue objects and great lighting. It all just works. You can tell a lot of time was put into this and it really turned out amazing. You should be really proud of this graphic. And then Velasco Prod. Great compositioning from the jump. The shadows and the highlights are all amazing. The effects on all the players look super realistic and the background elements blend seamlessly in with the main stock photos. All the little details really add to this graphic as well, like the broken fence in the bottom left and all the pumpkins in the background. Such dope work, man. And taking the time to add in all the player cutouts with all these effects, especially the Joker face paint on Jokic, it looks creepy as hell, but amazing. Oh, and the glowing rib cage on Zion. Bro, this just looks so, so good. You have more patience than me, man, I'm gonna tell you that. But the work speaks for itself because it looks crazy. So that's the top two, both outstanding. All the entries were outstanding, but the overall number one and the winner of the three years in Vato Element subscription is... Velasco. I hope I'm saying that right, but this design is incredible, man. Just an amazing job from top to bottom. I'll be in contact with you very soon to get you that free year subscription. Congrats, it's well deserved. This work is crazy. But that's the video. Thank you again to everyone that took part in this open collab. Everyone's work was amazing. I wish I could feature all the designs. But if you want to see some of the work from this open collab, just search hashtag EthanJSMSpooks on Instagram and you'll be able to see all of the work there. And you can go like the designs and follow the talented designers that took part. If you didn't get featured this time around, I want to do loads more stuff like this, so don't worry. There'll be plenty of other opportunities to get featured and hopefully I'll be able to get some more stuff to give away. So, spooky season is pretty much over now and I'll be returning to some normal designs on my channel very, very soon. Please like, subscribe and comment if you enjoyed. It really helps me out. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.